Guys, today I have for you something really special. Fresh out of the box, legendary, never ending Seeker Mine build. <laughs> and this one is not a typical Seeker Mine build you are used to. No hardwired bullshit or anything like that. And I'm using Firestarter Seeker Mine. Oh, baby! <laughs> What the fuck is this? You will be unstoppable. And speaking about unstoppable, I have unstoppable force which is stacked non-stop fully. Mm-hmm, baby. What? If you love insanity, this is the place where you have to be. This setup will work on legendary difficulty, on heroic difficulty. It depends on your preference, but just check on this mayhem. This Firestarter Seeker Mine has insane burning duration, even though legendary enemies has decent resistance, still they will burn forever and they will spread status effects across the map, that will give you Seeker Mine back by itself, but oh man, it's more than that. So first of all, Seeker Mine by itself can refill or basically take out the cooldown, but if you will throw in the mix in a higher or assault turret, that's game over, because actually your second skill as well not only will boost your unstoppable force talent, but also will reset the cooldown. It's pretty goddamn nuts, and I'm not using Riga gear shit, hardwired gear shit, anything like that. Actually, I'm using Eclipse Protocol gear shit, and I truly believe that Eclipse Protocol gear shit is the best one with skill at talent and unstoppable force. You can stack really quickly unstoppable force and that will work with your skill kills as well. Look at this, my unstoppable force is all the time at max damage. Unfortunately, unstoppable force is kinda slapped talent right now, nobody really is using it and skill it the same story, but we gonna change it today because this combination is lethal and you can play heroic difficulty with multiple directives applied, skill it basically with skill kills will give you 30% chance to reset your cooldowns, but Eclipse Protocol gear shit as you know will spread status effect across the map and that increases your shot to get your skills back. It's absolutely nuts, but before we continue, quick word from this sponsor, Leaving.net. If you don't have enough time or good teammates, but you still want to have all the best items in your game, then Leaving.net is set for you. They have absolutely amazing team on consoles, they will complete or order super quick, Everything happens through account sharing, this service has been working for many, many years. They have tons of customer reviews, you can check everything by yourself. But now, with my promo code AIRBD, you will have 15% discount on all sales. It's amazing deal, especially when right now they have some crazy sales going on. So definitely check these guys out and if you have any questions, simply drop comment down below or contact the operator and he will tell you everything. But now let's get back to this never ending seeker mine build. And most of the time people are using typical seeker mines, cluster seekers, uh, but not in this case. I, actually, if you're gonna pair that up, this Seeker Mine with Eclipse Protocol gear set, ooh, you are getting insane amount of skill damage and status effects as well. This Seeker Mine, oh, will make your enemies burn forever. Goddamn, you can set them on fire today and most likely after a week they will still be on fire. It's that long, it's ridiculous. It's almost 25 seconds, man. 25 seconds. If you're gonna compare it with Firestarter, Gem Launcher, it's like 9 or 10 seconds. But I will show you in my build the difference. So guys, hit that like, smash the top if you love insanity or leave a hateful comment, it really depends on your preference. Guys, but do something man, do something nice for Butcher at least once per month. So for specialization we are using Hair Survivalist. Why Survivalist? Because it will provide us with extra 5 grenades, medkit which is gonna heal not, our, not only us but our teammates, uh, by applying status effects on your enemies they will receive more incoming damage, so again, really nice in solo and in team play, overall really nice synergy, and look at this, my Seeker Mine is coming back, and Seeker Mine by itself can reveal it by killing enemies, because it will work without gear shit really well, also, survival specialization will provide you with extra um, burning duration and protection from elites, so really really dope specialization for the weapons i'm using ak with preservation talent 
AK hits really hard and you can run around with it and be immortal basically. Again, the main thing here that preservation talent works with your skill kills and Eclipse Protocol gear set. You will refresh preservation talent, it has no cooldown, no range limitation, nothing. You can all the time receive that armor again and that makes this weapon really really strong and kind of needed in our setup because we need survivability and that's really important. For second weapon we are using exotic assault rifle capacitor. This bad boy will provide us with 7.5% extra weapon damage with each skill tier. We have 6 of those so extra 45% weapon damage on our hands only from this assault rifle on top of that with full stacks 60% skill damage it's not man it's kind of fun build to use run around experiment and I strongly encourage you to do some crazy stuff guys leave comments down below what crazy builds have you done already but I think this is pretty goddamn dope synergy because like I said at my intro that's kill it and unstoppable force are those talents which are kind of uh, underused or slept on and I understand why because unstoppable force is really really tricky mm, cooldown you have to, to manage to kill enemies really quickly to get maximum stacks and yet yeah, the maybe damage buff is not uh, that um, uh, tasty <laughs> to use it but with Eclipse Protocol gear set you're gonna solve this issue because you can kill five enemies with one fire starter with one seeker mine with stinger hive you will get instantly just like that uh, full potential from unstoppable force and with that you can basically reset cooldowns for your skills as well by killing enemies um, top-notch synergy for the skills like I said look at this fire starter has 9 10 second burning duration but if you're gonna compare it with my seeker mine which has 25 seconds almost 25 seconds that's absolutely insane your enemies will burn so goddamn long that it's not even funny I I'm I promise you you will be kind of surprised and the burning duration is really important here because that allows us to get those extra kills to work with skill and talent and with that we can we have more time to get our seeker mind back so your enemies will be still on fire when your seeker mind be your uh, excuse me your fire seeker mind will be back on your hands so it's that crazy uh, i'm trying to explain everything in a really simple way so you can set on fire your enemies and your enemies will be still burning at the same time when you're gonna get your next seeker mind back with skill and talent so that's kind of hot so burning will not be over when you will get your next seeker mind and to me that's absolutely insane and in terms of burning damage oh that fire starter oh fire oh it deals ridiculous amount of damage for backpack, I'm using Empress International backpack, two pieces from this brand that will provide me with extra skill damage and uh, skill health. Really, 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 really nice uh, synergy. And Unstoppable Force will be for us non stop at maximum uh, power. Like I said, the trickiest part for this talent is that it has a cooldown and it's really, really pain in the ass. That's the reason why nobody is using actually this talent. But again, Eclipse Protocol Gear Set will solve this issue. And uh, four pieces from Brand Set uh, will give us bonus, which will spread status effect across the map. I guess I'm trying to explain obvious things. Maybe for you veteran players, this is really simple synergy. But for new players, this could be really tricky to understand. One key point here, you could actually use Eclipse Protocol backpack as well. This backpack would provide you with amplified weapon damage on status affected enemies. But I'm using Unstoppable Force to get that extra weapon damage since uh, we don't need that amplified weapon damage and uh, I will receive unstoppable force buff on all enemies so I don't need apply status effect so sometimes unstoppable force can be a little bit more beneficial but yeah, especially if you are out of your skills and out of your fire grenades so yeah but again Eclipse protocol backpack could be used and simply switch maybe to I don't know, Fenris gloves if you want extra weapon damage with skill damage attribute or maybe use uh, Contractor's gloves 
uh, fox brainy pets or wyvern for skill damage reasons uh, so you have a couple options there thank you for watching butcher drops the mic and enjoy this hybrid fresh seeking mine built by